A dog born in a Midwest puppy mill has started his new life in Oregon. And a Facebook video documenting his journey has had almost 50,000 shares. His name is Nubs. He lost his two back paws at the mill. And after seeing video of the pup on Facebook, a Salem man drove all the way to Pennsylvania this summer to adopt Nubs. And you'll see why. Christine Pitawanitz is live at a Kaiser Dog Park. And Christine, this is no small responsibility. Laurel Joe, it is not, and it is not cheap either. Nub's owner says he pays hundreds of dollars for hydrotherapy. He pays about $3,000 for a pair of prosthetics. In fact, Nub's will be getting a brand new pair this week. But when Nub's owner sees Nub's running around, having fun like all the dogs here at the dog park, well, it's all worth it. This is Bailey. Bailey Bear. Jim Havlinick was perfectly happy with his little family. There he is. Winston. Which Let's included go. his two dogs, Winston and no. Bailey. Ugh, come on. And go. That is until he saw a video of Nubs. He was probably not even two months old when I first started following him. You wouldn't know girl. Nubs was any different than any other dog until you looked down at his two back paws. He basically has just a calloused over you know, stub that that he that he fits in these. Every day, First it's a team effort to put on Nub's prosthetics. Snug them up. The 10-month-old pup has to wear them. The poor guy was born in a puppy mill in Missouri. Puppy mills typically have a lot of caged animals. They don't get a lot of access to moving around. And there, his mom chewed off his back Good paws. Boy. Well, we don't know if it was the extra stress of being in the puppy mill or maybe she just wasn't ready to be a mom, um, but she ended up, you know, taking it out on her puppies, unfortunately. But it seems nothing oh can crush this pup's spirit. It's that feisty spirit that made yeah. Havlinick drive all the way from Oregon to Pennsylvania to get nubs from foster care this Good summer. Boy. We are leaving Coatesville to head to Norwalk, uh, Ohio. So far, uh, nubs has adjusted pretty well to his new pack and his prosthetics are doing their job. If you give him the opportunity, he, he will be gone. Boy. He will just run, 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 run. As this boy. pup adjusts to life without two of his paws, Havlinick is already looking toward the future. He's hoping Nubs will become a therapy dog for veterans. Take him in for people, that, you know, guys that got amputations and stuff, and take him in to, you know, kind of show you that you're not alone. Come on. Good boy. What a cutie. Whether he becomes a therapy dog or not, though, it's clear life in Oregon seems to be suiting him pretty well. Havlinick tells me there was a factor in his decision to adopt Nubs. He says it was a fortune cookie. He had opened one on the day he made his decision. Inside, it said every day is filled with decision. Today, yours are all good. So it turns out that fortune was pretty spot on. Back to you. Well, we are huge fans of Nubs already. Thanks so much. <laughs>